tag for you guys and I'm super excited to do this tag just because it's going to be so much fun and let's go ahead and jump in. By the way, if you guys, if any of you guys want to do this video, I totally tag you guys and I'll leave all the questions in the down bar below and if you guys make a video on it or if you guys have a channel and you guys are going to be doing the video, let me know in the comments because I'll be sure to watch it and I just think that that would be so much fun and I'll let you guys know in your comment and comment on your video letting me know that I watched it. So right now it is 11.48 so it's almost 12 and if you guys are like, why are you home right now? It's because I had a half day and it's like three more days until um, Thanksgiving so I'm super excited. I'm getting the Christmas spirit with my hat. I think I'm going to keep this on the whole video. But yeah, I have the questions right here on my phone just because um, MacBarry07 created this tag and um, I'm just looking at the questions from her video because her video was so much fun and yeah, I wish I knew her. Like, I wish we were like best friends. She doesn't even not exist, but it's okay. Okay, so question number one. Favorite winter nail polish? And you guys know that I cannot pick one nail polish, so I went ahead and picked three. So I'm going to start with the one that's on my nails right now. And I am seriously obsessed with this color. It is purple. It is by OPI. And if you guys can see, there are like a little bit of blue glitters to it. And it almost looks like a galaxy, so that's cool. Um, I had this for a really, really long time, and I just thought I'd pull it out and just get it. But this one is called Grape Set Match. Next nail polish is by Essie, and I really like this one. This one is called Bordeaux, and it almost looks like Bordox, but it's Bordeaux. And it's this cranberry red kind of color. It's so pretty, and I think it's so fast. But as you guys can see, it's just like a cranberry red kind of color, and I'm obsessed with it. I really, really love it. It's not like a classic red. It's a little bit more, like, deeper tone, but I really, really like it. By Sally Hansen. This is their Extreme Wear line, and this one is in the shade Cherry Red. And I really, really like this. This is more of your classic red. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's Once again, it's a nice classic red. And I actually picked um, both of those nail polishes, the one by Essie and this one up by from Target. So go check your Target because I do have like a lot of good like Essie name brand nail polishes. And that's where I found this one. Okay, next question. Okay, number two. Favorite winter lip product. And I couldn't choose one once again. So I choose six. I chose a six. And I know that's a lot, but we'll just start off with like the basic. I put this one in because it's just like a little lip balm. Um, this is an EOS lip balm. You guys know that I love these. This is what mine looks like. And this is not cherry. This is pomegranate. And I actually, once again, got this from Target. And I went to Target. I was like, okay, Ma, can I get that? She's like, yeah. Because I said I need a new one for my school bag because I do. But I use this every day. I just keep it in my drawer. But I was like, I opened it in Target because we were like still on like the line when the girl was like bringing everything up, you know. And um, I opened it up. Like I opened the package up. I opened it up. And I was like, what the heck? It was split in half, and the some of the EOS is on this side, and the other EOS was on here. I'm like, can I have a new one? They're like, you need to go to customer service. And, like, the guy, like the manager over, she's like, I was like, can I just go get a new one? Like, this is broken. I like, she's like, yeah, just go get a new one. I was like, I was not going to customer service and wait an hour just for my EOS lip balm. Mm. So, that was my boring story, but, yeah, pomegranate. Okay. Then I have three lipsticks. Two are the lip butters, and um, they're both reds. All of these are basically red. And I already have them swatched on my hand just because I did, like, the video on my Nikon, but it failed. So, yeah. So, the first one I have is Candy Apple, and I actually have this on my lips today. I actually just, I actually just got this, but I really, really like it. It's really, really cute. And what I do is I just kind of dab it on like this. And there you go. So cute. And I love that. And then this is it swatched. I don't really know if you guys need it swatched if I already have it on my lips, but whatever. And then the next one is Red Velvet, and I really, really love this color. It's a deeper toned red. It's almost like a cranberry, and I can't wait to wear these to, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas. But that is that one swatched. It's right there. It kind of looks similar to this one up here. And that one, if you guys are wondering, it's by Maybelline. It's one of their, like, lesser gloss, whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know why I just said that. But it's a new shade, and it is this, like, um, like, cranberry kind of color, but does have a, like, a, it's purple, but has cranberry undertones to it. So it just looks like that. And I really, really love it. It's really, really pretty. And then I have two glosses. So you can either go light, which is this one. I use this, like, every day. Like, this is my go-to gloss. It's by Essence. And it's in the shade Nude Kiss. Yeah, Nude Kiss 03. And these are so cheap, but this is, like, the softest lip gloss I ever had. So if you guys don't like, like, really, like, tacky, like, sticky lip glosses, go get this one. Because it's cheap. You guys can get it at Ulta or wherever they sell Essence. But it's just, like, a little nude color. It's right there. 
And like I said, it's a nude kiss and I am adored, I'm adored with it. I'm in love with it. And then I have this one. I don't know where this is from. I think I got this in my My Glam bag like a while ago. But it has like a little tassel on it. And my shade is in the shade Red Hot. Um, it's so pretty. I used it yesterday. It looks like that. It looks like Candy Apple but in um, gloss form. So it looks like that. It is very, very, very highly pigmented and very intense. So it just comes with like a little applicator. And I'll just put this on. I have to cut this. But number three. Most worn winter clothing piece. So I actually... I'm obsessed with sweaters, and you guys probably know that. This one is from Hollister, and I love it. And then the cool thing about this is that's such pretty detailing. It has this really, really nice navy bow on it, and I just love this one. Pretty, and I love that. And then I have this one from H&M, and it looks like this. Let me. And this is like a charcoal gray, gray color. I got this in like September, like around there, maybe a little bit before. But it has like this knitting to it set. And then um, most worn winter accessories. So. It would definitely have to be these two things. These are both scarves, obviously. And I got this one from Forever 21. It's just this, like, um, charcoal color, or it's, like, a taupey gray color. It looks, it looks taupe on there, but it's gray. And, like, a cream color. Um, just sweater, and it has some, like, tassel at the end of it. But I got this from Forever 21, like, last year. And this is really, really cute. And I know they still sell this because I saw it online. So you guys can totally go get you some. Oof. Right, and then I have this one. This is like a fake Burberry. I got this from Macy's uh, last year. Um, it's a fake Burberry, but we can just pretend it's real. <laughs> it's by that brand. So if you guys want to look it up. Next question. Favorite winter scent slash candle. So I have a candle here, but I also have a scent. This is called North Pole by Yankee Candle. And I got this a really, really, really long time ago. And you would see I burnt a lot, but for having it for like three years, I haven't really burnt it that much. It's But I burned this in my bathroom, and this is what it looks like. Oh, not even showing you the front of it. Hello. That's what it looks like. It's just called North Pole. And it's like vanilla with like a little, little, little bit of peppermint to it. So I really, really like that. And then for a scent, I have a room spray, and this is by Glad. And mine's in the shade Apple Cinnamon, um, Red Apple and Spice. It's by S.C. E. Johnson, a family company. And it's their winter collection. So this is what it looks like. It has a really cute reindeer on it. I actually also picked this up from that. And then next question is favorite winter beverage. Okay, so I don't like drink that much for winter. Like I'm not that big of like a hot chocolate fan. But when I am drinking something, I'll usually drink this um, Pumpkin Pie Spice International Delight um, Gourmet Coffee Creamer. Um, it's the season seasonal edition, but it looks like this. This smells like pumpkin and no it's it literally smells like pumpkin pie like okay all-time favorite christmas slash holiday movie you know it the elf so cute and i seriously don't think like this is what me and my mom are saying like we were like i don't think elf would have been as funny if will farrell wasn't in it like if will, if will farrell wasn't in this would it be as funny as it is i don't think so so favorite christmas holiday Christmas um, or a holiday song. Okay, so I just recently bought like some of the Justin Bieber Christmas album things and I know like hello like this came out last year but Seriously, it's so good like it's um his album is called under the mistletoe. So I'll just take just a listen Holy night. All is calm. It's like I can't even do it right now. Like I really can't. And then you have the other one, which is the Christmas song. Like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Can we stop? Jack Frost sniffing at you now. Yeah. Your tight cows. So next question. Um, nine, favorite holiday food slash treat. Okay, so I have, um, a food. I guess it could be a treat, too. And you're always going to flip out when you see this. I don't even want to show you. So, do you guys know, like, the Stacey's, like, the little pita chips? Well, I was shopping in Target, and I found these. Can't, stop! Stop! Limited edition. 
Stacy's Pita Chips Simply Gingerbread. It's a... Stop. First of all, the packaging on this is so cute. The snowflakes and a little red. But gingerbread... No, like, it is seriously so good. Like, they look like this. And if you guys have ever had the cinnamon sugar, like, kind of tastes like that. But then, like, after that, it tastes like gingerbread. Like, what is your favorite Christ Christmas decoration this year? So, I didn't decorate for Christmas yet just because Thanksgiving didn't even come yet. So, my favorite is just, it's the only thing I had. It's a little, like, reindeer, and it's kind of weird. And I don't really like it that much. But I guess he's cute. Okay. What is on the top of your Christmas list? And I don't know, like, I don't have, but um, I definitely have combat boots and clothes on there and makeup as well. So the last question, what are your plans for the holidays this year? And everyone comes to my house for Thanksgiving. So my, aunt, my aunts and uncles come, my cousins come, and yeah, we just like all sit down and we eat. Because none of my grandparents, I only have one for Christmas. Um, we stay at my house Christmas Eve and my aunt comes over and they're my cousins so we all like spend time together just the three of us and then sometimes my mom's friend and Rachel come over so um we do that and then for Christmas we open presents obviously at my house we sleep in. um we go to my aunt's house that came that comes over for Thanksgiving we go over her house and um we just like open presents together like if they got so fun and I love the winter I love the holiday seasons and I'm so excited for Thanksgiving and Christmas I love watching the Thanksgiving day like the Macy's Day Parade and then I like chop potatoes with my mom and then Christmas is just Christmas I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Oh my god, I didn't tell you guys. So, you know how Justin Bieber and Cindy broke up? Okay, guys, like, you guys can't tell anyone, but. And we, like, went on a date, and, um, we were, like, walking in this, like, park thing, and it was snowing because it snowed, and. You are here in this hotel. So. You guys can't tell anyone. That's between us. Okay? Okay, I'll pull through. yesterday and I had it and I put whipped cream and I melted um camera and I put just a little bit of sea salt in there and then I just dusted some cinnamon on I was like Starbucks like Starbucks like you y'all could have came over and I would have been like oh free coffee and like just like you guys could have brought over like a little mug and I could have made you pumpkin pie spice latte pumpkin pie spice latte from Sammy's kitchen yeah. Just open okay, he can be called. What is the reindeer from the movie called? I don't know. Whatever. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you.